welcome to my channel. So today's video is going to be about my sticker setup and how I store my stickers. Nothing too exciting but I just thought I'd be able to show you how I store my stickers and um, how I sort of keep them slightly organized so for people who might want a little bit of inspiration to set up their own stickers they might be able to take something from what I've done and I'm actually pretty excited to show you this binder because I made this and I absolutely love it and I think it is beautiful so let's get into the video so as you can see here I've got three folders I've got sort of got them from small medium to large and what we'll do is we'll start off with my smallest sticker folder So this is my smallest one and I bought this little folder from Kmart. It was in the uh, photo album section so it's just a mini photo album and I had some scrapbooking paper at home and a little card that I had from the reject shop and I just put wrote planner addict with a love heart on it and yeah. I'm just going to go do and uh, do a little flip through of the stickers I keep in here. It's just got a little decorative sticker in the front corner there. Ah, uh, sorry, front page there. And this is just some do it dots that I got from Erin Condren. Some reset girl general shapes. Some clipboards. Some peony planner. Just paydays um, and. Uh, dog related stickers I don't know what shape you call these teardrops I guess um, some uh, washing baskets from Lily Pink Prince some workouts oh as you can see I don't do a lot of working out <laughs> oh some reset girl more stickers just some um, planners and today's some YouTube Facebook Instagram symbols from the reset girl Boxes, circles, mini flags, all from the Reset Girl. Some more circles, teardrops, boxes, and some, there's just hearts behind here, and these are all from the Reset Girl. These are plain uh, boxes from Erin Condren, from one of my Erin Condren planners. Some more plain boxes, some hair appointments, just party, birthday, birthday, doctor's appointment sale, wedding, bridal shower, mani petty, just some more plain boxes. And I just cut these out of the boxes, put them on some paper and stuck, um, just slotted them in there. And then that's just another sticker that I got with one of my Erin Condren. And then just some more scrapbook paper with a bit of washi along the top. So that was very inexpensive to make. I believe this was around the $2 mark. It could have even been cheaper and it was just so easy to store. So that's what I started off with, with all my stickers in there. Moving on to my medium size, so I started this when I found that uh, some of my stickers were too big to fit into my small size, and then I've just it's just a uh, like a A5 size clear display folder that I bought from Officeworks, and I will try and link it for you below the link to be able to purchase this because I've actually since bought another one, and I think they're just a great size. So I just I've got some uh, paper here that I got from a Molly Makes magazine and then a plan has got a plan which came with one of my reset girl orders and then I've got some stickers here from I believe they're from me and my big ideas I'll have them linked below so they're just some cute little quote stickers these are some from the uh, the Aldi sticker book I just pulled them out and put all the pages in here and they're pretty much perfect size to be in here so they just keep going through These are some stickers here, and I believe they are from Molly Makes as well, which is just a magazine that has some craft, some general craft um, ideas in it. So they've got some cute little sayings on there. They're still there, and I believe that's from, oh, that's a blank page there. I believe they're from an older Molly Makes magazine. Another blank page. I've obviously got some stickers out and about floating around somewhere. This is that came with one of, with my Happy Planner. 
um, some more Happy Planner, uh, Planet Beautiful. These are just sort of like little bits and pieces of stickers that I have. This is from a quote sheet that I printed off Pinterest. Just use, I like to use quotes here and there. Uh, these are some enamel dots that I bought from the reject shop. To be honest, I don't use them a lot because they take up a bit of space and make my planner a bit bumpy, which I don't really like. So I don't know what I'm going to do with them. But I love them when I bought them, so I had to have them. Um, some leftovers from a kit from GP Sticker Studio. Some more for my happy planner. And I believe those ones actually might have come with a um, Heidi swap planner that I bought. So that's my medium sticker folder. And that's easy once again for everything that's just slotted in the top. I can just pull it out and access it. So that's a great little planner and you can decorate the front of it and it looks so cute. Okay, so my last one is my large sticker binder. And this is a binder. So this is an A5 size binder that I bought from Officeworks. And I will leave the link below for you to be able to buy it. And how I decorated it, I purchased these succulent and they were purchased as a, a clip art, I guess you could say, off Etsy, off a seller on Etsy. So I will try and link that below as well. Um, and you purchase them and then you could use them for personal use. Um, so I just use them to decorate this um, in the Silhouette Studio uh, software. And I had a navy background and I just put a little sticker at it on the front there and I actually printed them on photo paper which gave them this really good quality look and um, when I if I take that out it's actually quite nice and glossy and then on the spine I just did some more succulents because I absolutely love succulents and I put sticker addict in the top there so I thought that was so cute and then when I open this up in this front page here I have these little business card um, holders they're clear holders and they're the ones that have the adhesive back I bought them from the reject shop so they just stick in and they're great to put little thank you or little samplers that you get with your order over here I have another clear um, zip folder and I bought this from Officeworks this was about a dollar I believe and that is also great for holding more thank you samplers like a bit larger one so I've got some Planet and Vigo Cinnamon Designs, Happy Cutie Studio, and GP Sticker Studio. So for my dividers in here, I used ones from Kiki K. And because this is a two ring binder and Kiki K are six ring, I just put some washi tape over the top of the holes and then punch my own holes. I used some tabs from Kiki K from a planner that I had that I never used and then just some general uh, labels from my label maker. I don't quite know what brand it is but they were easy to use and so I've got all my labels down the side so this is my icons um, section and this has just some general icons and these are actually ones I've printed myself uh, these are myself made by Alyssa Okay, so the next uh, label is boxes, and this will just be obviously what it is, boxes. So shapes, not always boxes, but just shapes, blank, blank shapes that I can write um, stuff in. And most of these are ones that I've made myself in the Silhouette Studio. Oh, these ones I actually purchased from the Silhouette Studio and printed myself. little pizza night boxes I made movie night daily chore ones the next one is banners so there's some peaceful mind design banners also peaceful mind design weekend banners just some weekend um, words I made myself the next one is kits so they are some peaceful mind design uh, kits 
So just bits of kits I haven't used, and these are made by Alyssa. And that's a uh, thank you sampler that I should have put in the front, but oh well. The next one is words. So these are just little words that I like to use. So sleep in, which I love doing, <laughs> and me time, which I also love doing. The next one is my kawaii section, and I think these are so cute. And these are, I'll go through and show you. So they're Payday, and they're Happy Cutie Studios. Nail polish, Happy Cutie, Happy Cutie. Happy Cutie, um, also Happy Cutie Studio. Some more Happy Cutie Studio. I think they're too cute. I'm gonna, I've am gonna. i already got some more in my cart too on Etsy that I wanna buy some more. So some more there. Um, Happy Cutie Studio. These ones are Planner MV Go, or Planner MV Get Organized. And I think her stickers are just gorgeous. Not only is the color so uh, strong on the paper, but the paper quality that she's used is just adorable. I, when I got them I was so impressed and I can't wait to order more from her and she's Australian planet and we get organized which I think it is great to support Australian sticker stores and there's more here oh those are the ones I used one the other day and I cannot wait to use these Halloween ones oh they're too cute and the last page uh, section is just paper so that is just excess paper for when I have more stickers that I need to stick in and I just bought a a five size uh, book one of those spiral bound books from I think BW and I believe they were maybe around the four dollar mark but I'm gonna buy the Kmart one next time because they're two dollars and I just unbind um uncoil them cut off the circles on the the spine cut off all the pre-punched um circles and then I punch my own and pop them in here so it's very easy to make and that is the best little binder to store all my stickers because I love the size of this binder and to access the stickers I can just go to the exact section that I want, find the piece of paper, oh yep, and then just pull it off. It's so easy. I love it. So that's my sticker storage. If you have any questions, comments, please leave them below. Thank you so much for watching my video and if you have any recommendations for future videos, please leave them below. Thank you once again and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.